The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode will tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Guelph. Canada's COVID-19 lockdown has exposed weaknesses in our food system, but also its resilience. Let's start at the beginning. When the lockdown started in March, we panicked and emptied grocery store shelves. Canadians were shocked and scared. But this problem was short-lived. Supply chains worked hard to restock shelves. Governments helped in many ways. They allowed stores to restock 24 hours a day. Frontline food system workers received hazard pay, and grocery stores rapidly expanded delivery services. Shortly after that, restaurants and the hospitality business suffered. Millions lost jobs and thousands their businesses. It also disrupted food suppliers who, instead of delivering to restaurants and cafeterias, had to pivot and meet rising demands from grocery stores. But amidst all of this, families were reconnecting over home-cooked meals and planting community gardens. Demand for home baking supplies went up, while potatoes, which mostly are eaten in restaurants as french fries, went to waste. But so did eggs and flour, because restaurants buy a lot more of them compared to families, and the packaging industry just could not adapt in time. Next came the farm groups. How could Canadian farmers, who depend on thousands of foreign workers every year, cope with international travel bans? Well, the government helped speed up the visa process and provided money to farmers who suddenly had to modify dormitories to allow for quarantining and social distancing. But even so, worker health, farm income and Canada's harvest are all under threat. For example, almost 75% of Canada's beef processing capacity was shut down as companies struggled to keep workers safe. Even with modifications allowing for social distancing, workers are not safe. It's hurt productivity and reduced income. Animals have been euthanized. The migrant workers and meat processing plant situations highlight something uncomfortable about Canada's food supply system. The people we depend on the most to keep us fed are often the lowest paid most exposed to unsafe conditions and have the least job security and immigration status. And also, from the beginning of the pandemic, the number of people needing assistance from food banks spiked massively. Governments helped by putting money into the emergency food sector in unprecedented amounts. While COVID-19 has revealed vulnerabilities of Canada's food supply system, it's also shown our ability to push through and adapt. But we still need to do better. If you have any ideas and suggestions, send these to an online portal called Growing Stronger, Aiming for Resilience in Our Canadian Food System. It's a partnership between the University of Guelph, Arel Food Institute, Canadian Agri-Food Policy Institute and others. This story was adapted from Evan Fraser's conversational article, 100 Days of Coronavirus Has Sent Shockwaves Through the Food System. Fraser is a University of Guelph professor and director of the Arel Food Institute. He's also a Tier 1 Canada Research Chair in Global Food Security.